All right, what's up guys? In today's video, we're we'll showcasing the brand new Finn LMG. We're gonna be talking about how to build the best class setup. Obviously in order how to build the best class, we have to break down those attachments, tell you guys which ones are 100% worth using. With this being a brand new gun, the first thing I like to talk about is actually the stats of the gun, where it's good, where it's bad, and what is unique about it. The website I use to find all this info out is truegamedata.com. If you guys want to go check out his Twitch or his YouTube, you guys want to go follow him. But the basic thing of this gun, the first thing to know is there's two different variants. So you have obviously the regular AR variant, the LMG variant, and you obviously have the rapid fire variant, which completely is a different gun. With that rapid fire mod being added, it completely changes the stats of the gun. I think in Warzone, the best way to build this is with the base stats. It has an excellent damage, which 36 damage is a seven shot kill, and obviously a three shot kill in multiplayer. So it has an excellent time to kill. It has the fastest aim down sight time, the fastest movement speed, and the fastest straight speed of all your LMGs. So as far as the mobility, if you're an aggressive player for Warzone, it's excellent. It does have obviously a lot of ammo. It has a decent reload. And obviously the biggest negative is that open bolt delay. You guys can see 67 milliseconds. So when you pull your trigger, it takes 67 seconds for milliseconds for the gun to actually shoot, which is obviously gonna lower your time to kill, but it's excellent. The big negative, obviously the range is not as good, but the first thing I wanna mention, which is the most important, is there's two different ways this gun is built. So it has like eight different barrels. The word adverse specifically for this Finn LMG is going to be defined as rapid fire. So if you're confused what adverse is, it's basically the rapid fire mod. So what that's going to give you is obviously a faster fire. You go from 630 rounds per minute to a thousand. It lowers your damage. It lowers your range. It lowers your bullet velocity. Obviously faster fire. It makes your, your recoil not as good, but the recoil is capped. I'll showcase a little video clip on the screen. You guys can see once you shoot like the first 50 bullets, the last 25, shoot in a perfectly straight line which ends up capping the recoil which to me helps make this gun pretty balanced and to me makes it a little bit better than it should obviously you get a huge chunk out of your bullet velocity which is a good thing for lmgs a big chunk out of your range which this has some of the worst range for the lmgs and obviously lower damage but it definitely that faster fire is going to make it incredible so what we're going to take a look at is how to build the best class setup one is going to be obviously for the rapid fire attachment you guys are looking at on here the other one is going to be how to build the best accuracy, the best class for Warzone to give it the, you know, the best range, the best mobility, all that stuff. That class up to me has the best accuracy out of any gun in the game. As crazy as that sounds, I'll showcase the recoil on the screen here. That is with my best class setup for Warzone. The recoil is incredible, perfectly straight line. It's insane. So let's talk about those class setups. So in order to build that best class setup, it's obviously going to start with the barrel. You guys can see on the end here, it has the adverse, 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 four barrels that have the fire rate increased. Then obviously you have three regular barrels. The first thing I want to mention about these barrels is 100% avoid the Harriers. They're terrible. Don't use them. We're going to go break down all these barrels in a little bit, but the first thing is obviously with that long barrel, we're going for the best recoil possible. This is the base long barrel for just the regular fire rate weapon. Obviously increased range of bullet velocity and recoil for loss in ADS and movement speed. Obviously that's the first thing you're gonna be starting with. Obviously trying to get the most range, the most accuracy, 100% use the monolith suppressor. The best attachment for this gun, it's very limited on attachments, even though it's crazy it has some very unique ones. The ammo is one of the worst probably things about the gun, 100%. We'll talk about these in just a little bit, but these are some I really don't recommend for this gun. So it's gonna take away from that, and it's gonna take us straight to the attack laser. The attack laser is incredible for this weapon. It has one of the worst idle sways, and obviously being an LMG has a lower ADS. So 100% recommend using this because it's gonna help bring that aim down sight lower, and also increase the first shot accuracy where this gun's not the best. And as you guys know, we're going for the best accurate class setup, the best range. You gotta put that VLK sight on there to get that increased stabilization and reduction in recoil. And obviously stacking it with the Commando foregrip due to the fact that we're trying to get the best accuracy. So you guys can see in the bottom corner down all the way over there, the accuracy bar is almost full. This is gonna give you a better first shot accuracy, better stabilization, and obviously less recoil. You're not gonna have as good as a hip fire, but this is gonna be a mid to long range class setup for this gun. So as far as we take a look at that class setup and we're gonna swap it into making it the best for the SMG. The first thing, obviously using that barrel, you obviously have the long barrel of the rapid fire version and then you have the mid barrel. The mid barrel doesn't get a loss in movement speed and obviously not as bad 
and you know in the negatives of the mobility so i recommend going with the mid barrel just because it's going to give us the best mobility which is going to be built for stacking with like an m4 or a growl or a bruin in the close range so starting out with that rapid fire obviously like i said the tack laser helps increase your walking steadiness which is going to help track enemies in close range and obviously if you're trying to get the best mobility you're trying to get the best close range weapon with that merc foregrip increasing your hip fire and your movement speed it's going to help you out a lot in that close range and the biggest thing i'm going to be recommending most is something to try try it see if you like it i know 99 percent of my classes would recommend a model suppressor because it gives you a silencer i want you to try the compensator the negative it has in ads is not even noticeable and it gives you a massive reduction in your vertical recoil. So stacking the Merc and the Compensator together, which is gonna help counter that loss in recoil of the fast fire rate, is gonna help give you the best recoil possible. As far as what is the best lath attachment, I either recommend running the 100 round belt, which has a minimal loss in aim down sight and movement speed, which obviously you're getting a massive increase in those two, or try running sleight of hand sleight of hand is going to help you reload faster in the close range i tried no stock like i said this gun has one of the worst idle sways putting no stock on there makes it worse where the gun's the worst so i don't recommend it the chainsaw like i said i haven't tested it out yet i probably will make a specific video breaking this down but for Warzone, i'm going to be purposely running the 100 round mag just so i have more ammo if i'm playing quads or trios i can take out their whole team and the down guy without reloading. So that's gonna give you the best mobility class setup. Obviously with the compensator, the Merc's gonna counter that negative. Tackler is gonna help improve your overall accuracy so you guys can see. This is, to me, the best close range class setup. It's gonna be incredible in that 30 meter range, kinda like where you use the Foul and the MP5 as a close range weapon. So that's gonna be the class setup for that. So what we're gonna take a look at next is each individual attachment. We're gonna break it down as a unique, talking about how it affects the weapon and is it worth using, yes or no. Like I said, the ammo is unique, the barrels are unique. We're talking about which ones are actually worth using. Obviously breaking them all down for you and how I built my best class up and why I picked each barrel or what attachment I used and why I picked it. So let's jump right into that. So the first thing we're talking about is the barrels. The number one thing to mention, the factory adverse barrel is just literally putting the rapid fire on there. Obviously you guys know the XRK Pro Test is gonna be the mid barrel, the long shot's gonna be the long barrel. So you have three different barrels as far as for the base of the rapid fire. The biggest factors to note here is these Harrier barrels is basically a barrel that makes your aim down sight a little bit faster to make your range and your bullet velocity worse. Either one, even for the base, the rapid fire, I 100% recommend avoiding. As far as the Pro Tist, it's basically a mid barrel. You're going to get about 20% more range with about 15% better bullet velocity for a slightly slower aim down sight time. I definitely recommend this just because this is an LMG. It's definitely an excellent barrel. As far as for that long shot barrel, this is obviously a long barrel, it has a bunch of hidden stats. You obviously get a 35% increase in range. You get a 40% bullet velocity. Also better recoil, which you guys can see on the screen, as definitely gives a lot better recoil. You do get a 3% slower movement, a 50 millisecond slower aim down sight time, 35% worse hip fire, which is not listed, and also a slower aim down sight stray speed. So two hidden stats, the hip fire and the stray speed goes down. Like I said, this is one of the best for that, so it's not that big of a negative, but the aim down sight's not as bad. It gives you a lot increase in range. I definitely 100% recommend this barrel. It's excellent. Obviously, the Pro Twist Adverse is the same thing as the regular barrel, obviously with the rapid fire on there, and the Long Shot Adverse is the same as the other barrel with the rapid fire on there. You do get a worse recoil, which obviously with the rapid fire mod, your work kills will be worse, you guys can see on the screen. Definitely 100% recommend this barrel as well. It's definitely excellent. You're gonna get it 35% more range, so it has the best range increase, even better than that of the long shot. You also get 60% better bullet velocity. So you're getting 10% more range and 60% bullet velocity versus 40 with the regular barrel by adding the rapid fire. It does have the same negatives as far as the hip fire, your movement speed, and your stray speed. It does have a slightly worse aim down sight time than the other one which is not that big a deal. These are two excellent barrels I 100% recommend. Definitely worth using. I definitely recommend the Pro Twist as well. Like I said, any other barrel, the Factory Adverse, the Harriers, 100% avoid. Only four of the barrels are worth using. As far as the next most important thing to talk about is which is the best grip. I personally prefer the Commando. This has one of the weirdest recoil patterns where it moves in an S shape, which I've only seen like kind of on the Bruin. 
Definitely very weird. Both the Merc and the Commando improved the stabilization, which you guys can see on the screen. Both definitely give an excellent recoil pattern. The Merc obviously has less vertical kick. The first initial shots aren't as good. I personally think both of these are excellent. The biggest difference, obviously, that Merc foregrip is going to give you 4% faster movement speed and a better hip fire. And obviously, the Commando's 2% slower movement speed. So they have a big difference as far as which one is better. I personally like the Commando better. Just because that recoil pattern is in such a weird form, you're going to be stacking the Commando most likely with one of the long barrels, which is going to obviously do what the other long barrel doesn't, which is the stabilization and the stability. And the reason I like the stability better of the Commando is because this has one of the worst idle sways I've ever seen on a gun, if not the worst in the game. So getting improved stability of that Commando is definitely going to help out a lot. So I personally prefer the Commando, but I think they're both excellent. Both are amazing. 100% should be on your class setup as far as the grips. As far as the tactile operator ranger, the other two are just so much better and they're obviously easier to unlock. They come in the first two grips you unlock, so I definitely recommend them first. As far as the most important thing to talk about is going to be that ammo. With the ammo, obviously you come 75 rounds by default. This is just the base extended mags. You get a 2% slower aim down sight time with about 33 milliseconds slower aim down sight time, which you definitely will notice is definitely going to be noticeable, but you get 25 more rounds. So as far as yes or no, should you use it? I would say maybe it is definitely excellent if you're playing trios or quads in warzone it's definitely gonna be noticeable but to get a big negative in your mobility which this is where the gun is best i don't recommend it for 25 extra bullets then obviously with these ct these are case telescope ammunition rounds which are smaller you guys can see if you look in the corner right here above my head you guys can see the ammo actually changes size with the 75 rounds you're getting obviously faster aim down sight faster movement speed which is about two percent faster aim down sights a little bit faster but to get a negative in range and bullet velocity which is where this gun's not the best i definitely 100 recommend avoiding this unless you're playing multiplayer as same thing goes for the 100 round mag you're obviously going to get increased movement speed and mobility but to get a huge loss in bullet velocity about 40 percent 100% of voice is not going to help you hit your shots at long range at all. The only thing I recommend is obviously the 100-round mag is going to be the best attachment for you. So the next one to take a look at is obviously that VLK sight. I love a lot of these optics, but I think the VLK is the best. It increases your stabilization and your recoil pattern, which you guys can see on the screen. Better stabilization, better recoil stacks best with either the Merc or the Commando. Both are excellent. This is probably really the only optic you should be using unless you can really try something else out this does have excellent iron sights but due to the fact that vlk improves your accuracy i 100 recommend it as far as about the muzzles the one muzzle i'm going to recommend most for this gun is going to be the compensator if you're playing multiplayer it's definitely going to be 100 worth using obviously worse stability worse aim down sight is definitely probably going to be noticeable but the aim down sight is so minimal you won't even notice it to get a massive reduction to your vertical recoil the compensator me best stacked with that adverse barrel just makes your recoil worse so if you stack the compensator with like the commando foregrip you're going to get the best accuracy possible for this weapon obviously the mono suppressor i 100 recommend is an excellent attachment that improves your range and your bolt velocity which stacks best with one of those long barrels the tack laser you guys know i've i've always recommended it the aim down sight improvement is incredible you have an lmg with a slow aim down sight time 100 recommend it the aiming stability like i said it's probably the worst on this gun 100% recommend it for that reason and the aim walking steadiness this is a close range weapon anywhere between like 0 and 60 meters worth me best the aim walking steadiness is going to help with your player tracking which is excellent in warzone especially in that close range where you can use this as a close range weapon 100% recommend that the no stock attachment is insane on this gun almost 5% faster movement speed it makes your recoil worse and your stability worse which are two big negatives if you're playing shipment i 100 recommend this for multiplayer 100 percent avoid in war zone you get a massive increase your aim down sight obviously your movement speed obviously your stray speed and you also get improved hip fire so you get four positives which only shows two on the screen but the recoil is a lot worse which this has some of the best accuracy to, to kind of go against where it's best i really don't recommend that's pretty much it for all the perks the only other thing obviously slide of hand you guys know you know what it does but that's basically it breaking it down hopefully this helps make you pick what attachments are best to try and build the best class setup for you i definitely am probably gonna be doing a different video breaking down that chainsaw once i actually get some testing with it and try it out and see if it's better to use the chainsaw perk or to use a long barrel with the rapid fire or something like that so we'll definitely try it out in another video but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video like i said make sure you guys leave a like Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about the Finn LMG. Follow me on Twitch. 
Twitch.tv backslash traffic guide. Make sure you guys use my discount code on all of your scuff and GFO purchases. I'll talk to you in the next one.